Well, Jacoby Riddick was looking for a challenge. Anybody in the back? And uh, Kate, Loth Kate Lothbrook came out here and answered the call. And here we go, Reddick and Cade one on one. Our and Jacoby Reddick and Cade going one on one here. Shots, Cade now. Off the rope. Cade now in control. Has Riddick going for those gut shots. Big open hand chop. What a chop by Cade to Jacoby Riddick. And another. Cade Lothbrook going to town on Jacoby Reddick. Open hand chop. You can hear that echo across the exhibition hall. Belly to belly suplex takes him down. Almost had him there. Back. And head first into the railing, Cade Lothbrook has been in control. We are battling some technical difficulties, but what has not been difficult is Cade Lothbrook laying it in on Jacoby Riddick. The crowd so firmly behind Cade Lothbrook. We are sick of the Syracuse invasion that has been happening. Before the match, Jacoby Riddick calling out Mike Skyro says we have a huge leg drop from Cade Lothbrook right there. Jacoby Riddick kicking out, but eating a lot of damage right there. You know, in Syracuse, I gotta say, it does suck. I've been hearing from Mike Skyro all about the Salt City Killers. It's about salt potatoes, okay? They're proud of their salt potatoes. It's all potatoes and no meat as uh, Jacoby Riddick runs into a big boot from Cade, but knocks him off the rope. Bank the ducks into the head there of uh, Cade Lockbrook. Just brutal. Into the corner now. Jacoby Riddick. Laying in those shots to his midsection. Looking for the pin here in the tip. Kate Lothbrook surviving that pin attempt in the crowd, getting firmly behind him. But Riddick staying strong, staying in control here. See a big elbow. Oh, just a poke to the eye. You know, I don't know what's so great about Syracuse, New York. All I see is underhanded tactics from everybody that is invaded here. A Syracuse sucks champ ringing out here at Excite. I agree. I think they're right. They've given us, like, what? The Orange Men and Bob Costas. That's about it. Stomps in the corner to Cade Lothbrook, who, well, Control earlier, suffering some serious damage here as Jacoby Riddick just laying in on his, his chest and his throat for much of this match. And we are still having a couple of technical glitches here. Please stick with us. As Kate Lothbrook also having some difficulties tied up in the rope from Jacoby Riddick. 
admittedly a hell of a competitor. But much like Mike Skyros, doesn't need to resort to such underhanded tactics. Laying in some huge shots though. But Kay Lothbrook finding a, a second wind here, taken down quickly by the Lariat and the cover from Jacoby Riddick. But he kicks out. Kay Lothbrook staying alive. And Jacoby Riddick laying in those shots and the beautiful Foxy Foxy at ringside. You gotta assume she's a factor here for no other reason just to be in Jacoby Riddick's head. And look at Riddick now. Oh my gosh. Our lead commentator is coming back. We're back alive here we as are. we fixed our technical issues. Appreciate you everybody sticking around here as Kate filled in for me as I was troubleshooting. But the only thing we have to worry about right now is that Jacoby Rick is trying to troubleshoot his way out of this matchup. He's going to be in trouble if he gets Kate too much momentum here as the Irish whips. DDT plants Cade. Both men down center of the ring. Foxy Foxy trying to get Cade back up in time. A really punishing match from both sides here. We do thank you for, for joining us for night two of Excite against the world here versus the world, excuse me. And Kate Lothbrook hammering away. Griddick going for the clothesline misses. Kate, oh, goes, Riddick goes face first. Yurinagi takes him down. Kate Lothbrook is rolling right now. You know, Jacoby Riddick was in control and put in so much offense so fast earlier in this match. I think his, his, his take might be running a little emptier than we anticipated. Cade Lothbrook taking his time. He's going to want to capitalize here. And now Cade Lothbrook could, could finish the job here. Goes in. Going for the power slam. Down he goes. Two. And the kick out. I thought he had him there. That was a hell of a slam. We could hear it reverberating all the way over here at commentary. And way he's got him up. Oh, Riddick has him in a sleeper hole, but Cade trying to push him in the turnbuckle here. Good strategy by Cade Lothbrook trying to shake him off. Yeah, he was just trying to stay awake and get him off his back there. Back suplex by Riddick. Riddick going for the cover. Two. Oh. Cade said, no suplex for you. Absolutely not. And now Riddick trying to figure out how to put Lothbrook away. Has him up on his shoulders. Cade. Down he goes. Everything Cade does has such massive impact behind it. And as I say that, he backs me up with a massive lariat. What's this? And of course, right before the pinfall, Salt City Killer backup has entered. You know, I always thought black and yellow was a Pittsburgh thing. I don't even understand this, Mike. They, of course, interfered with Jacoby Riddick to help Mike Skyros win the title in Horseheads, New York. And the Syracuse sucks chants are echoing throughout the exhibition hall. Syracuse has caused nothing but mayhem here at the exhibition hall. Not forget, of course, the match ending in a disqualification, but nobody was going to win on this anyway. Jacoby Riddick continuing to lay in forearms after the bell. And Riddick, not uh, Salt City Colors in general, not letting off on Kate Lothbrook. And now they're saying that they got the pinfall. Are you kidding me? Uh, they're the reason for the disqualification. 